out with the old control panel or uh, controller. You can see the corrosion marks around where the wires go in. And end with the new one from the bay. A lot of little connectors to hook back up. All right, some zip ties are not black like the original ones. But I uh, rerouted the wires, leave some strain loops in there. That's just to kind of keep this from getting tangled up. That's why I left it long. And uh, I'm going to put a little patch of high strength tape here just to nail that down. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. My coup d'etat, a little all purpose caulk, which I'm going to just glob all over this uh, top of this module because that is now two of them that have failed from corrosion. Uh, of course, this seals the vapor and the water coming in the handle from getting inside the door, but there's nothing to stop it from getting onto that. So that is another failure point for these handles. Anyway, hopefully when it's all done, it should be good. I did not replace the paddle gear because this one seems to be fine and I have lots of extras anyway. I did replace the uh, sensors because I was already here and the ones that were in there looked bad. There's a lot of wiring to clear up, uh, to clean up, but um, I'm going to add caulk to the store controller if it works. Uh, but that is the whole dealio. And of course, when I plugged it in, it immediately extended, so I know that part works. So first, we got to lock the door, and we got to make it think it's locked. Come on, lock. There goes the window. All righty. All right, one clicky. It locks, and we'll flip this around on my my little box test rig which holds it up. There we go, regular old box. That's to protect the chrome when I go up inside the door. That's perfect height. All right, wakey, wakey. Handle pops out. And, ha oh. All right, one last test. Car is unlocked, but asleep, meaning the handles are pushed in. So they should push to present. And there they go. That's the last test. And the light. Of course, the light works. All right, time to clean it all up and put it all back together. Up in there, on the things, and the thing, and the thing. All right, before you tighten your handle up, you want to get it so that it's not catching any edges of the door panel. I actually need to move this back end up just a little. Easy way to do that, get yourself some cards, any kind of plastic cards, and you can kind of shim them in there to hold up the loose handle while you tighten it and make sure that you get a nice uniform. You see, this is really good on this side, but the back is just a tad low, so I'm gonna pull that up just a little bit. And once you have it in, you're gonna be looking for your, your gap here. Like, is it flush to the body or is it too far in? I'm sticking out a little bit here. I mean, some of that's the tape, but and if it's not right, then the way you adjust it, and it's already in place and I've already secured everything, but the way you adjust it, T25, and this will fit, and you'll end up going back behind the window regulator, and you can get it up there, just trust me. Pry up your vapor shield, a little bit past halfway, a little bit past halfway, and what you're looking for is above the motor, there is a screw adjust that. I'm going to try to show you where it is. It's right there. See? I just revealed it just a little bit right there. Wind it out to recess the handle farther into the door. Tighten it clockwise to have the handle stick out farther. So depending on what adjustment you need to make. But you can do that with the handle in place. Likewise, if that's all you have to do, you can do that without removing the handle, which is great. All right, if you want to reduce wear and tear on the handles once you fix them and you drive by yourself most of the time, go to the vehicle menu and you'll turn on this function here, which is the driver unlock mode. And basically what it will do is extend, because I have auto present on, it will extend and unlock only the driver's door. The other handles will stay inside and they stay locked. 
You can override this, of course, just by going to the menu and turning the, the, uh, the function on and off. Like on the weekend, if you're going to have a lot of family drives and you're going to use the car, you might want to turn it off for the weekend and turn it back on Monday. Uh, or you can use the app or the fob to override that setting and pop all the handles at once. But at least most of the time, it keeps the handles in the car that you're not actually using.